Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday to you. Happy Friday to you. Don't be a dick. That's all I got. Happy Friday, friends. How are you? It's April from Mama Loves Food and O.com and DinnerHero.com. I hope you're well. Go ahead and leave your mental health number in the comments. One is low, ten is high. I'm like a three today. I'm not going to lie. I woke up really sad. I don't know why. I just did. Everything feels heavy today. Hi, Carrie. It's probably hormonal in conjunction with all the other fun things going on in the world right now. But it's okay. I'm glad we're here together. We can chat. It's Friday. It's cantina night. Those of you who don't know what cantina night is, good morning, Mom. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Carrie. Uh, cantina night is just Friday night. <laughs> it's what we call Friday night in our house. <coughs> Excuse me. We um, we eat outside with the kids and... Um, <sighs> Yeah, we try to um, make a, just a special thing of it, right? So we eat outside and we pull the cornhole out and we, um, they get a treat. So they'll get like a, a soda or something. And, um, and then we watch a movie together as a family. That's nice. Usually, sometimes it's a mess, a mess, but you know. Life is a mess, right? Life is messy. Anyway, hi Karen. Karen's a five. Hi Gemma. Hi Glenda. Hi Christine. Christine's a seven. Robin's a five. Hi Amy. How are you all? It's Friday. Are you guys doing anything special for Friday? I'm curious. Has anybody else picked up any fun new traditions since the world has gone upside down? Kim says, I was going to call to work today. I forgot I work from home. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that to, in my soul. I feel that in my soul. <sighs> it's like you can't get away from anything, but you're already away from all the things. Is that appropriate way to put it? I don't know. Anyway, life feels heavy today for me. I don't, I don't know. I had a strange dream. I don't know if Anthony's on today. Anthony Handy, are you on? Or Karen, are you on? Liz, me too. It is a blah kind of day, Christine. Um, so I don't know Karen and, and, um, Anthony in person, uh, just through the show and the community, but Anthony, I had a dream about you last night. <laughs> I dreamt that you came to the trailer, uh, which is my office. Good morning, Miss Christine. I, I dreamt that you came to the trailer for lunch. We had a really nice lunch. You brought your, it was either a nephew or a grandson with you. He was like probably two, ridiculously cute. And then um, we traded cars for the day so you and your buddies could go skiing. And that was my dream. And it was very strange. I mean, it was very nice. It was, but um, I don't know what on earth made me dream that. Also, I live in Florida, so I don't know where you were going skiing. <laughs> Maybe water skiing. I don't know. Anyway, so you guys, I dream about y'all. In case you were curious. Robin says, hubby is off today, so when I get off, we're going to go for a drive and get food. That sounds lovely. Oh, maybe we should go for a drive today. We haven't gone for a drive in a long time. I miss driving. I don't think I've been in my car in a month. Oof. That can't be healthy. <laughs> I did my nails last night. I was hoping that would be a little bit of a pick-me-up because I was starting to feel down last night even. I'm not going to lie. It feels good to have my nails back on. Josie and I had, she wanted to paint them last week, so I hadn't, I didn't put them on last week and um, then they were starting to chip and then I was like, oh, I've got roots and my nails are chipping and hormones are making my face do horrible things. So you guys, to, S oh, to South Florida. Good morning, Rose, Rosal is it Rosalyn? What a pretty name. Okay, sorry, like, wow, I'm just bringing everybody down today, aren't I? Um, Karen goes for drives every day. Well, I haven't, because I don't want to deal with filling the car up with gas. We don't really live in an area that's much of a, we don't really live in a scenic area. We live in a kind of a suburb place, so I don't know where I'd even drive. Kim found a house she likes. Cross your fingers. We are all crossing our fingers for you. Mom says I have till Monday. I don't have till Monday. I don't know what you're talking about. 
random oh carrie wants a story time she says how did you and wes meet wes and i met you don't watch miss doubtfire we watched it the other day what did i did i miss a did i miss a joke <gasps> did i miss a joke we actually watched it like two weeks ago um okay story time i can tell you the short story which is to say um we met in spanish class in um uh college my last year of college was his last year of college it wasn't actually was it wasn't i don't know anyway my last year of college my my last semester of college i think um no not tonight uh Gemma. we watched it a few weeks ago Thank you. Heather. Heather likes my earrings. I'm pretty sure they are Walmart. Maybe Target. Um, okay. Yeah. So short story is we met in Spanish class in college and we chatted and got along and um, we were in a study group together, which, um, yeah, and we got to know each other and went to a party and went on a date and that was history. The longer... There's a gnat. There's a gnat. It almost went in my mouth. The longer story, and also guys, I'd love to hear how you met your significant others. Tell me, tell me, these are fun. So the short story is we met in, in class, right? The longer story is when I was in high school, there was a boy, we'll call him Tim, that is not his real name, and sometimes he watches these, so he might be on, <laughs> that I was friends with. And we went to homecoming together, just as friends, and um, soon after homecoming, we had a falling out. No details necessary, but he upset me. Um, whether it was warranted or not, I don't know. I don't care. That was like 25 years ago. So anyway, we were falling out, and I was very mad at him. Very upset, very hurt, whatever. And um, yeah, so we didn't talk. And uh, fast forward, that was junior or senior year of high school. Fast forward to senior year of college, and we were at the same college. Uh, kind of randomly and although not that randomly because a decent amount of my people from high school went to my college and hi Jacob uh, the first day of Spanish class my senior year now we had had no classes together I don't even know if I had seen him on campus in you know the whole time we'd been in college we had no communication since that falling out in high school so lo and behold senior year of college I walk into Spanish class. I'm running late because, you know, it's college. And there's one seat left in the classroom and it's next to him. And I was like, oh, I don't want to sit next to this guy. I don't like this guy. He did me wrong. But it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a, you know, I'm running late and it's the only seat. So I sit in the seat and avoid eye contact and all that fun stuff. So the next week it was a tuesday thursday class i come in i get there early and i sit on the clear opposite side of the room and um i feel like we had assigned seats in this class or maybe people just tended to sit in the, the same seats in a row but anyway um we're going forward anyway so i sit clear opposite side of the room which happens to be next to wesley uh, who came in after he sat down, he sat down after I didn't, I didn't purposely choose that seat. Um, anyway, so that's how we ended up in a study group together and friendly and, and, um, whatnot. Now fast forward again, three years and Wes and I are getting married and my sister throws a bachelorette party for me. My sister and my best friend throw a bachelorette party for me and we have it in uh, downtown Orlando and Wes and I, uh, really love piano bars. So they did it at a piano bar in downtown Orlando. Um, dueling piano place, which so fun. Hell at the Moon it was called. I think we still have one here, although the one, the specific one that we went to was um, demolished. This is the longest story ever, guys. I'm so sorry. Anyway, so for my bachelorette party, my sister had t-shirts made for everybody who came. And the t-shirts had a picture of somebody I had either, you know, dated or or gone to like an event with right um so it had my my high school sweetheart um my college sweetheart who was not Wes by the way I met, I met Wes at the very end of college um I mean I guess he would be a college sweetheart but anyway <laughs> it had my you know my high school sweetheart my college sweetheart um the boy I went to prom with the boy I went to 
homecoming with, so Tim, um, and a handful of other people. Boy, I had a crush on in middle school. Anyway, so all the all my all my bridesmaids are people who were at the um, yeah bridesmaids, yeah, and not a, not just bridesmaids. Anyway, all the people at the bachelorette party were wearing shirts of these guys that I had had some you know romantic affiliation with at some point, and um, one of them was Tim. And my shirt had a picture of Wesley on it. And it was like the one that didn't get away or something. It was really cute. Anyway, so we go downtown Orlando. Meanwhile, I have not seen Tim since Spanish class, senior year of college. Before that, had not seen him since senior year of high school. <laughs> it is now. I am, I am a lawyer. I am getting married. This is years later. We're wearing these shirts. Tim is on this shirt. We're in downtown Orlando. I have no idea what has happened to Tim. I don't know where he lives. I don't know if he's still alive or if he moved to Zambo Zimbabwe. I, I don't know. We walk into the piano bar. Guess who's there? Tim. It's very strange. Anyway, we hugged. We made up. It was good. We're on good terms now. Anyway, that was just my really weird story. Um. So, yeah. I don't know. It was such a, like, what are the odds? Okay, that was my story time. Wes and I met in Spanish class. <laughs> and then, a few months later, I moved away to law school on the other side of the country. And we made it work. I don't know how we did that in hindsight, because there was no social media back then. And I had to, uh, you know, you paid by the minute on your cell phone. And, um... It was when long distance minutes were a thing. So I used to have to charge my, um, and we had one in the dorm. I had a, like, co uh, not a co-ed. I mean, it was a co-ed, but uh, my pot or whatever in the dorm was um, I shared with four other people, three other people. And we only had one phone. So if somebody was on the phone, you know, you had to go. I had to go, I had to charge a calling card, which I still know the number, by the way. Um, I had to charge a calling card with minutes and go down to the basement laundry and there was a phone in the corner of the basement laundry that nobody ever used and I would sit in the corner of the basement laundry and chat on the phone with them. I'm like, every other day. <laughs> anyway, okay, uh, this is not the right list. This is my work list. What is, um, here's my real list. Okay, let's do links, 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 links. That was a fun story, Carrie. Um, my first link is banana pudding and I have strong feelings uh, about banana pudding, FYI, in case you are curious. Here's my recipe. It's in the comments. It's also in the description. I don't know what's happening. I washed my hair, by the way, you guys, and it is fuzzy as all get out. Um, I have very strong feelings about banana pudding, and you have to tell me how you feel. So, I believe with all my heart, to the depths of my soul, banana pudding should be made with banana pudding. But did you know, did you know that most people make banana pudding with vanilla pudding and then just put slices of banana in it and I feel like that is just not acceptable. I want to know how you feel about that. So anyway, I put my banana pudding recipe in the comments and let's be real, as with most banana puddings, it's made with instant pudding. Um, but <laughs> I use banana flavored pudding because why wouldn't you want your banana pudding to taste like banana pudding? I find it absolutely perplexing that people use vanilla pudding to make banana pudding. Right? Gemma's never had banana pudding. It's so good. You can put cookies on the bottom and layers of banana and pudding and mm, whipped cream or cool it. It's so good. Oh, Tracy says I'll eat it either way. Girl, I will eat it either way. Absolutely. Um, but... I prefer it with banana pudding. Anne says, no, it's not acceptable. What, well, which way isn't acceptable? It's got to be banana pudding, right? Anyway, okay. So yeah, in the South, typically you make banana pudding with vanilla pudding. And I'm just, it doesn't make sense to me. That would be vanilla pudding with bananas on it, not banana pudding. <sighs> anyway, if you must, you can use my banana pudding recipe and substitute vanilla pudding. But don't tell me about it. Just tell me you used banana pudding. <laughs> Please. <sighs> okay. Next link. 
We're going to keep banana pudding cheesecake. Oh, that sounds amazing. Uh, banana. Uh, we're going to keep when our, with our linking thing with things I love in my kitchen. One other. These today are both splurges. One is like a super splurge and one is like a sort of splurge. Um, the first one is our pancake griddle. You guys, we love our pancake griddle. You guys have seen me use it on the show a million times. It's amazing. I love it. This is the exact one we have. The reason it does not look the same is because the newer version has a, um, a black surface and ours has a gray surface. I don't know why they did that with the newer version, but it is the same, the same one. Love it. Love it. Love it. We've had it probably six years now. We got it uh, toward the, when we first moved into this house so six maybe even seven years now we use it almost almost every week sometimes twice a week um Wes makes pancakes on it all the time I make steaks on it sometimes chicken pork chops whatever um we love it 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 if you um you know if you want to make more than one pancake or something at the time it's just fantastic I love it and it's a little bit of a splurge I want to say it's like 40 or 50 bucks but um it gives you time back and it's uh non-stick so it wipes clean it's very easy to clean and if you do get uh, a lot of you have seen me on the show where I gunk it up really really bad because when I cook meat on it I tend to like it kind of seared um uh baking soda and water it gets all the stuff off really really easy Kim made waffles for dinner last night I love it I love it okay the second one is a major splurge I'm not gonna lie um but uh it's probably my most used pan in my entire kitchen and I use a lot of my pans so I don't know if that's saying a lot I, I use most of my pans all the time uh, but this is the one I reach for more than anything okay I do love my instapot how uh, Deanna I do love 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 my instapot how big is the griddle I don't know you can't see my hands so it's it's a good size I don't know I'm sure it has the dimensions in the link um, it's a good size for, for our family of seven it works out really nicely um, okay. This is a braising pan by Lake Crusade. I know, Lake Crusade is expensive. I've not found an acceptable alternative, though. Um, so I do have a similar Cuisinart one, but it's just not as deep. It's not the same. It's not as heavy. I also love that one, but I always, always go for my Lake Crusade one. It, it fits about as much of a, as a stock pot, a smaller stock pot, but it's wide and um, shallower so things come to a boil quickly you can I just I love it it goes on the stovetop it goes in the oven it can go in the fridge it's my favorite 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 um so if you are in the mood to splurge if you have a father in your life who likes to cook um this is I just I can't say how much I love this pan I love it I've had it for 10 years probably probably maybe even more 10 or 11 years and I use it at least five times a week possibly 10 um and I wash it and reuse it all the time so okay those are my links today not a lot of links I don't know what do you want from me um I don't even I didn't even take really notes Linda says by the way I'm a 10 you look like you're up today I'm not I'm actually really sad today I'm sorry I'm a good faker I guess <laughs> I do enjoy talking to you though so I do come up talking to you but I, I just woke up sad today I don't know the world feels heavy I'm trying to like let it leak out my ears and enjoy the time okay do you guys eat breakfast I'm curious uh I just lost like almost everyone I don't know if Facebook screwed up or if I just bored you guys all to tears but I'm really sorry <laughs> um do you guys eat breakfast? I don't eat breakfast. I almost never wake up hungry. If I eat breakfast, I get a little bit nauseous. I love breakfast food though. So we do breakfast for dinner a decent amount and we do brunch on Saturdays, which I love. Kim likes raisin bread. Um, anyway, I don't know. I was just curious if you guys eat breakfast. I'm not a breakfast eater. Thanks, Miss Linda. Uh, anyway, I thought about that. The reason that was on my mind is because I woke up hungry today and I'm so hungry. So I'm trying to decide if I should go in and grab a sandwich or something. Or maybe Wes. Sometimes Wes makes pancakes in the morning. Wes makes pancakes most mornings. Not most mornings. Probably half the mornings. He alternates between eggs, pancakes, fried ham, and waffles, usually. Anyway, 
sometimes when he makes chocolate chip pancakes, he leaves me one and sitting on the counter when I go in. And I'm kind of hoping that's a thing today. I would like pancake. I'm not going to lie. I don't know. Gemma says, I'm spending time with my dog, Wally. His favorite toy is a tennis ball. Aww. Sherry says, sometimes I eat breakfast like once a week. Linda says, tomato sandwich. Ooh, that sounds good. That sounds really good. I don't think I have any tomatoes. Oh, I'll tell you another reason I'm cranky. So you guys know I hate grocery day. And Thursday is grocery day. But I forgot to put my order in early enough yesterday. So it's coming today. So I have like two days of grocery days thinking about it. <laughs> Heather says, hi from Alabama. Do you still do your cooking shows on Wednesday evenings? I haven't been recently. We haven't been on for probably a month now. Um, I just since being home all the time, I have a hard time in the afternoons. So I haven't been. I'm not really in a great mindset in the afternoons. I hate saying that, but it's true. Um, so yeah, I've been we put a pin in the, we're coming back. It'll be back. We'll, I promise. I, it's not the end of the cooking show forever, but for right now, um, I'm taking a little break from the cooking show. So we do have hundreds, literally hundreds and hundreds of old cooking shows. though. if you guys ever want to watch them, um, you can find them on YouTube. Our channel is just mama loves food on YouTube, um, or on the video tab on Facebook. Um, go to mama loves food on Facebook and look for the video tab. And there's hundreds of old cooking shows and I apologize for anything I said or did on those shows because I just run my mouth anyway all right guys I want you to have a wonderful weekend oh also if you're on our email list I hope you are I hope you are if not please join um if you're on our email list uh um 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 I've started a new sort of thing, so I apologize if you're getting a weird amount of emails. I don't have it quite worked out yet, but yeah, that's all. I love you. You're great. Have a wonderful day. If it's payday for you and you're feeling like treating yourself, I'd love if you grabbed our cookbook, dinnerhero.com. You can get it in ebook, instantly delivered, literally the moment you click um, purchase. Or you can order it in a physical printed book. Yes, it comes with the binder. Exactly like this. This is how it comes. Well, it comes wrapped in plastic, but. <laughs> 150 odd pages, 70 plus recipes, and uh, lots and lots of great information. I'd love if you bought it. I'd love, it. I'd love you if you don't. Anyway, you guys are gorgeous. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday. <laughs>